Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here, and this is This Week in WordPress and Tech. This is October the 8th. I'm going to be discussing some of the articles we discussed this morning on the WP Tonic Roundtable Show, which you can watch live on the WP Tonic Facebook group page or the WP Tonic YouTube channel. I'm just going to give my personal views, give some extra insights on some of the particular stories that we discussed that really got my interest going as well. We're going to start off with number one, and that was a new theme just being released or going to be released for WordPress. <clears throat> the panel's basically attitude to this <clears throat> was that, um, why bother? You know, um, the, you know, with Gutenberg, with the page builders, why do you need a specifically designed theme? Wouldn't it be just better to build a kind of hello theme, a, bla uh, a blank canvas, which then you could drag the blocks from Gutenberg on? Why put the effort? Now, number two of the thing was a piece done about Steve Jobs. Um, it's the 10th anniversary of Steve's death, the founder, the joint founder of Apple. Um, we had a, a quick discussion about Steve, his role in tech, how things <clears throat> would be different um, if he was still running Apple instead of the present CEO, Tim Cook. Um, a bit about Steve, you know, the reality was he was an extremely complicated man. He could be quite abrupt with individuals. He could be harsh. He could be generous. I think the truth was he was harsh, but he was also extremely harsh on himself. He had some particular views about the world and that, that he paid a high price for those views. Um, you know, uh, if you read his authorised biography, um, it become clear that some of his views led to his death, basically from a, a very treatable form of cancer that became untreatable because of his own personal views. But these views also led to him building one of the greatest companies and really bringing in, you know, the modern world, really, few um, microcomputers and through the iPhone and the whole world that has erupted from these two um, technologies. So he has his place in history. Uh, number three was Black Fridays. And um, are they a good idea? Are lifetime deals also a good idea? They're kind of, there's a lot of comment about are black deals really that good for the WordPress plugin ecosystem? And also this um, discussion applies to lifetime deals. My own view is it depends. Um, other people have, I, that they just don't like lifetime deals and they don't like um, deals on Black Friday. My position is, like I say, it just depends. You know, um, if you're trying to get a plugin and get it exposed, doing a deal on App AppSumer, um, utilizing their massive marketing reach, and doing the figures though, and understanding your figures, um, and understanding why you're using AppSumo. The other thing is you might want the cash to help you um, jumpstart more development of your plugin or SaaS. It applies to the WordPress Ego plugin as much as it does if you're bootstrapping a SaaS product, why you would look at Atsuma, why you would do um, lifetime deals, or um, also the, um, a lot of people mention lifetime deals, it affects the value of your business. And especially if you've got a subscription element, um, that it reduces the value. But the point is that um, I think um, there's getting some slight 
um, pushback on the subscription model because there's fatigue entering the market um, for individual um, people in the WordPress community, implementers. There's so many plugins out there. There's so much choice, so much activity going on in the WordPress sector that um, keep laying down money on yearly, monthly subscriptions. It all soon adds up. So I definitely see sign of fatigue entering the market. Doesn't mean you can't be successful, but it also means you've got to be realistic about how you're going to launch, how you're going to get the wheel rolling, how you're going to get your product going in the right direction. Number four, podcasting. Um, we had um, Craig, the founder and CEO of Castos, the major sponsor of our show, joining us on the Roundtable show. He's a great guy, a great supporter of the show, and a founder of a great product, SaaS based model that offers tremendous value in podcasting. That this article that we discussed was that the figures prove um, to some extent that podcasting is becoming more and more popular. Um, live streaming is also gaining popularity. We discussed some of the reasons why that could be. Will that continue? You need to look, um, watch or listen to the podcast about what we said about that. Then we go into bonus content. The bonus content is another half hour which you won't be able to listen or watch on the uh, podcast or on the YouTube channel. For you to see the bonus content, you've got to go to the WP Tonic uh, Mastermind Facebook group and sign up and join the group. And you'll be able to see the whole um, live podcast plus the bonus um, uh, element of it. And one of the key stories of that and what what interested me most has been the um, what has been happening around Facebook. Now, they, they had a whistleblower. She was on 60 Minutes. And um, I'm just quickly looking at my notes. I apologize, folks. And um, I think it's been quite dev devastating and appealing of the curtain of what's really been going on at Facebook. Mark Zetterberg, um, I consider him, and this is my opinion, it's nothing, it's not the show's opinion, it's not the panelists' opinion, it's solely my opinion. Mark is a total sociopath, um, supremo, he's always been a sociopath, he just cares about the green, the money and the power, he don't care about anything, anybody, his own family, he doesn't really care. He just cares. He's a sociopath. Um, but in a strange way, he's an honest sociopath. I know this sounds ridiculous, but he's never hidden what he is. He's never attempted to do, you know, I know his PR handlers and his media handlers have worked on him and he's become a bit more polished, a bit more acceptable when he's thrown in front of the media, but it's still pretty obvious what he is. Um, it's always been there in front of us. His actions haven't changed. He hasn't modified um, his attitudes. There's been numerous reports about how he operates his company and the people that he attracts to his higher management. But my real scathing remarks are at the executive team at Facebook and the board of directors of Facebook, because they're not sociopaths. They just willfully don't care. Um, they're just interested in making a ton of money for themselves. And example, Sheryl Sandberg. Now, I, I really haven't got two hankies for the woman. Um, she is the darling of the democratic liberal elite. There isn't a fundraiser 
in the Bay Area or uh, online calls that is around women's rights or any minority. And don't get me wrong, I'm not attacking those causes, but there's not a dinner party, a, a charitable event or online petition that Cheryl won't join, that she won't talk about on her Twitter, that she wraps herself with the blanket of liberalism and progressive idealism. But when you look at her actions, there's nothing that particularly attractive about her, her actions and her support of this sociopath of a CEO. And there's a number of women, not only in the executive team, but on the board of Facebook, that I feel are really morally bankrupt. And why do I say that? But um, this is kind of personal to me because my marriage, I was married to an American lady that had a major eating disorder and she had it for years and it destroyed our marriage. So I have personal understanding of the damage eating disorders do. And these women, not only on the executive team of WordPress, um, WordPress, sorry, uh, Floridian slip there, Facebook, um, and of the board of directors of Facebook, were, were given, must, be, must have been aware of these reports and research around how damaging Facebook and Instagram is to a particular age group of young women between the ages of 12 and 18, and how the research showed that these particular platforms really as exaggerate and make the situation even worse for vulnerable young women. For them to decide not to act on this research and to bury it, is so morally bankrupt and disgusting that they are disgusting and morally bankrupt, in my opinion. The other figure that um, pronounced on this is Nick Clegg. And now he is the vice president of global affairs at Facebook, reportedly gets paid over 10 million a year for his activities. It, Nick Clegg, probably you, the American listeners, he, his name doesn't mean much to you. But if you're from the UK, from Britain, he is well known. He was the leader of the Liberal Party. This former politician is the lowest of the low. He is truly a scumbag supremo. He lied to the British people through his teeth. He lied he has personally damaged democracy in the UK. He was untouchable after his nauseating um, being involved in a coalition government in the UK. He is scum, um, a liar, a cheat. He couldn't get another job in the UK. He had to resign as the head of the Liberal Party because he semi-destroyed the Liberal Party in the UK through his actions. He couldn't get a corporate job for the love of money in the UK. He was untouchable. And um, Mark Zatterberg decided that he was the ideal candidate to be the head of marketing and PR for Facebook. That really tells you the kind of people Mark wants in his organisation. And Craig will basically say anything for money, he, do anything for money. He's an awful, awful individual. Um, I think I've made my feet is quite clear. Um, it really shows where this organisation really needs the founder needs to be removed as CEO of the company and there really needs to be brought in a new executive team and a new members of the board and this company needs to be cleaned up if it's possible to be cleaned up um, because it's totally out of control and it's causing a lot of damage to American, British and 
Western European democracy and to society in general. I'll be back next week with some great this week in WordPress and tech, my own opinions. Like I say, in this piece, these are all my opinions, got nothing to do with the panel or the show. Hopefully you enjoy them. Please give me a thumbs up so I can continue these videos. Join us on the live show and join us on the Facebook group um, where we discuss the stories. And if you're into WordPress or into building your own business uh, on the internet, you'll find it a great group. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.